Rwanda has turned into a bit of a miracle in rebuilding itself from one of the most catastrophic types of war, which is the civil war. The incredible steps that have been done in integrating the ethnicities into a one nation concept, uh, the schooling system uh, that is free, medical help, uh, the sense of security, uh, they're all positive gestures as the economy and business has been moving and the infrastructure has been totally modernized. The empowerment of women, there's the secret weapon. Giving women power to influence within the communal scenario, the national scenarios, in a variety of the professions, that will break the code. Everything from the home right through to the president's office. There's now 56% of all elected officials in, in Rwanda are women. Uh, high uh, areas of responsibility in a government are women. We also see an encouragement of the small economy, the microeconomy in villages where they are run by the women. Uh, and young girls are encouraged to engage and to learn the skills in order to pursue that. Uh, I think the other one is seeing more and more girls getting higher education and that will give more empowerment, of course. I think it's right to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the genocide because we cannot let the genocide die. It must remain a focal point uh, of humanity and its failings uh, that can go so catastrophic when people simply do not care. And we will not permit humanity to set up a pecking order where some humans are not as significant or as human as others. We are all equal and in those scenarios those who are vulnerable need protection and it's our responsibility to give it.